Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, bobble journaling, thrift, and trash lips on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my video today. Hey y'all, welcome back. So project number one, I'm going to be using one of these Dollar Tree um, squares and some Waverly wax on that and then on the lamb I'm going to use the Waverly Snow White and then I have these little sticks from Walmart um, I'm going to also use a few of these and um, cut them down to size and I will also stain them with the Waverly wax so I'm just trying to figure out um, about how many pieces I'm going to need here. And um, let's go ahead and get that done. So now that that's done, I'm going to take this um, little, I have this little notepad full of um, hems. So I'm going to go ahead and glue one of these down to this little wood piece of paper or to this wood, this piece of paper to the wood. <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Um, I'm just using some regular old uh, clear glue here. And we'll just sit here that down like so. And I needed to go ahead and get these corners. And once I was done with that, I went ahead and got one of those little squares and then a um, tumbling tower block and stained it as well so I can make this stand up. And that's pretty much it for this first project, you guys. But I didn't like how the um, crosses were floating in the air. So I just went ahead and grabbed some of my reindeer moss. And I will just make like a little mound here at the bottom. Like it's on like a little mound and on the other side and then um, I went ahead and did across the bottom on both sides and then off camera um, I went ahead and trimmed this up and that's it so let's talk about today's collaboration with farm charm cheek cheek Sh chic I cannot talk today you guys I'm tired it's midnight um it is what March 2nd midnight yeah so the guest host is Shannon crafty DIYs you guys you know the deal go ahead and go down to my description box watch the playlist check out the host see what everybody else is making this five under five challenge is pretty cool. We're kind of cutting it close nowadays with Dollar Tree items. <laughs> um, I know I did on my last project, so please forgive me. It was probably maybe six dollars. <laughs> um, I didn't realize it was going to use so much rope. I thought it was going to use less. But anyways, let's get to this DIY. I'm using this bamboo board from the Dollar Tree. I painted one part of it white, sanded it down, now I'm just painting the edges here with some Waverly Wax. Those little brown pieces, the little squares, um, excuse me, those were just pieces from a different project that I did. I had to cut off a little piece of um, some paint stir sticks. I will link that video down in the description box if you guys want to watch it. It was a cross project that I had made um, and it's pretty colorful that one so it's very opposite to this one um, but then I stained those with the Waverly wax plus that um, cross that I got from Michaels it come like in a little kit with a bunch of other little wood pieces so now I'm taking this stamp I believe I either got it from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General one of the two but I stamped he is risen on there and now I'm taking this black stays on ink. You guys, this is a permanent ink. And I'm just doing a light um, edging here all the way around it. OK, 
Okay. So now I will take this tacky glue, but first, before we go ahead and glue everything down, we want to make sure we get this kind of where, um, where we want it and keep it in place. So I'm, like I said, I'm using my three in one tacky glue. I just get that from Hobby Lobby. I didn't put any numbers on these, um, but you know, like the little Scrabble tiles kind of, that's what I was going for here, but I didn't do that. So, and I didn't make them like connect either, but I thought it was a cute little concept and I wanted to use those pieces up. So now I just have all these little scrap pieces of wood dowels, or uh, not wood dowels, excuse me, wood beads. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just string on um, a little pattern here. I was actually having a little bit of difficulty with that, um, getting through with that needle. The end was kind of too fat at one end. So we'll just use some tape instead. Once I got a pattern going here, I'm going to go ahead and staple on the hanger that I created here with some black twine. And then once that's done, we can hang it up. Now I did go ahead and um, clean, uh, dirty up those little white beads. And I did add a um, vintage buffalo check looking um bow to the cross as well but you'll see that later so let's go ahead and hop right into project um number three this is another dollar tree project and um i got that little board thing from the dollar tree so i'm writing out just as he and then said and then all those little wood pieces, they either came from the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or Michael's, you know, those little um, square rectangular packs you can get that have the little tiny wood pieces in them. Um, I just have a few flowers, a bird, a mushroom, a rabbit, and um, a crown. Um... So I'm just going to take the Waverly Wax with the baby wipe and I'm just going to dab on that wax. And then I'm going to take some of this wood glue that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down to um, this sign here. And I did not, um, I did not keep the um, letters like in place because I want to be able to change that out if I want um, I could also I was thinking about putting he is risen on there but I decided to change it up just a little bit and do something a little different this time instead so once I get all these glued down um, I do add one of those uh, buffalo plaid vintage bows to the front of the like neck area of the bunny. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. There's those little bows. They're so adorable. I love it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and hop right into project number four that I stuck inside of my cloche here. Um, I have this little wood crate from the Dollar Tree and um, these little bamboo skewer like stir stick whatever you want to call them um not skewers but like sticks I got those from Amazon cut them down to size stained them stained the crate as well and now we're just going to go ahead and glue the pieces together and we're making three different crosses here and I'm just trying to keep them um, in the same kind of um, area. And then I, I try to use hot glue and silly old me, duh, I should know by now. I do this all the time on my channel. I always forget that hot glue and the Waverly Wax just do not cut it. So I had to peel off all that hot glue and get out some of my tacky glue and glue those down. And now I'm just taking some of my black 
twine and I just went around these crosses a couple times. Okay, and once I get this one trimmed up, I will stick this down into the foam um, on both sides, kind of at an angle on the other side. And um, yeah, then we'll take some of this Spanish moss. Um, I call it the dead, it looks so dead. <laughs> it's the dead stuff. We'll put some of that down first and then I will cover over top of it with some of the reindeer moss, which is the brighter green moss and bring that back to life some. So I hope you guys are enjoying my projects today. I want to say don't forget to go and check out the host on the playlist and all the other crafters that joined this collaboration um you guys um i can't wait to see what everybody else had made as well myself so make sure you guys check them out okay and once i got that to my liking i'm going to take this piece of muslin fabric and that same stamp that i picked up from one of the dollar stores and I'm just going to stamp out risen onto the fabric here with this permanent stays on ink. Just like that. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and do a little pause here for you guys. And then um, once you want to clean those up right away because that is, like I said, some permanent ink. And then I just did a little dot in the corners here on all four sides. And then once I am done with that, I'm going to take some of these gems that I got from the Dollar General or the Family Dollar. I can't remember which, where, one of the dollar stores. And I painted them black and then we're just going to add them on all four corners of this little... Um, risen sign that we had created here I love it I think it's so so nice and then I added a bow above the eye but you will see that later okay guys for my last project project number five now I've had this cross in my stash for probably about five years now I've had I've had quite a few of the crosses and um, this is actually my last one. So we're going to use it today. And then I use a couple ropes. And then um, you want to go ahead and just hot glue this around. I just swirled it around a few times, added some hot glue, swirled it around a few times like so. <clears throat> and then I had like a little piece just left over from a different project that I made this little swirly part in the middle um, just so I could wrap this um, stuff around. I'm not sure what this stuff is, you guys. I've had this as well in my stash for about four years now. Um, so I thought I'd use it for the center of this. And then I have this mouse trap from a different project that I had made with some mouse traps. I made a cute little um, house with some lambs on the side. Um, with these mouse traps, it turned out so cute. And I had a couple of them left. I have one left now. But I'm going to create a little tag with this one. And then I'm going to just stain the whole thing. I wish I wouldn't have stained the side, but it's okay. It ended up working out anyways. Because you know how stain is. It doesn't like to stick to anything <laughs> for some reason. Um, and then I do the other side. And then I'll let that sit for a little bit. And um, I'm going to take some of this black twine that I got from Target like a long time ago. I wasn't sure how I was going to wrap this if I wanted to do it all crazy. But I think I like the nice and neat way first. Now I only did three at first at the bottom. But I ended up changing that up. And I did it um, I believe nine times. And then here's that pad that I have of those hems with all the songs on there i just picked out another one and i'm going to use some of my mod podge here and i'm just going to mod podge that down 
Now I didn't feel like getting out my iron and doing all that so I just used my hot glue gun and just held it there for a while and then rubbed it down with that little silicone mat and then I will use my little sander sand it down and then use a stays on ink to go around the edge in to dirty this up just a little bit and I do go across the top of it now um, I'm using that same stamp and I went ahead and put risen on there again and we will just pop that right on there how nice is that now I have that stuff again I'm not sure what that stuff is called you guys it's kind of weird feeling it's I don't know what it's called if 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 I remember what it's called I'll link it down in the description box but I got it from Dollar Tree it usually comes in all different kinds of funky colors too but this one was um kind of like a perfect burlap looking color and then I just put this right on there added a bow and that is it you guys let's hop into the final reveal of everything look at how cute this is this is what this is so cute it's my favorite today I love it I really, really love it, and I love the lamb. It's so adorable. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed. You'll have to let me know if this one's your favorite or is he is risen going to be your favorite today. This little he is risen sign made with scraps and a bamboo board from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then... Um, is project number three just as he said um, or another good one would be it is finished I think that would be another great one on here um, and then I added my little risen here into my cloche into my kitchen with this little light here I think it's absolutely beautiful love it love it love it and i did make this cloche from a walmart jug and this bowl that i found at a thrift store <laughs> and here it is with the lights off you guys it is so pretty i just love the glow and then the cool looking cross you guys will have to let me know which one was your favorite today you guys and I just want to say, don't forget to watch everybody down in the playlist in my description box. Bye. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless. I'd like to thank the host today for having me on the playlist. And thank you to all my subscribers and all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please like, subscribe comment and share it really helps me grow on youtube and i appreciate all that you do when you do that also if you hit that bell button you can be notified every time i upload a new video i want to say thank you again for watching sunflower tasha diys you can follow me on instagram on my personal account or you can follow me on my gallery account my personal is obviously my personal and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I have made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!